Bax is a balloon-borne telescope. It's designed to make baby pictures of the universe. There's a light that was emitted when the universe was very, very young, um, before the formation of galaxies and clusters and stars and planets. Um, and that light carries the imprint. It's like a photograph of what the universe looked like um, when it was 380,000 years old. It also carries an imprint, potentially, of what the universe was like when it was much, much less than one second old. So the first thing that we need to do as scientists is figure out everything that's happened up until this point in the history of the universe. And this tells us so much important information about the fundamental aspects of our universe. How big is it? How old is it? How energetic is it? What's it made of? Is it going to live forever? Is it going to die? And furthermore, if we can really accurately measure everything that has happened in the universe up until today, we actually have a really good chance of knowing and predicting what will happen to the universe in the future. The aim of the project is to measure what's called the primordial gravitational wave background. This is a signal that we believe was generated in the moments just after the Big Bang. Unfortunately, this signal is extremely faint. It's very difficult to see. So in order for us experimenters to see or measure this signal, we need to create experiments that have unprecedented sensitivity to this polarization. We use extremely tiny technology that needs to be made in a microfabrication facility to probe the largest scales of the universe. So we use sensors that exist on the micron scale, one millionth of a meter, to probe the universe which exists on the billions and billions of meters scale. So the light will come in from the sky, just like a telescope that you would think of, an optical telescope. It hits that first big mirror, then it hits the second mirror, and then it comes and is directed into the space that's now occupied by this barbell looking thing. And that is actually just a weight. That's, that is a weight that is now um, in place of the camera. There's going to be a very large camera that holds um, cryogenically cooled detectors. And they're cooled down to very, very low temperatures to reduce the intrinsic noise so that the very, very faint signal from the sky is the thing that we see instead of noise coming from our detectors. There's a very specific process that we have developed here at UC Berkeley in order to fabricate a very specific type of detector called a spiderweb transition edge sensor bolometer. These detectors are fabricated by taking a silicon wafer, depositing a very thin film about one micron thick of silicon nitride, and then on top of that, we use several layers of metal, which becomes the sensor of the detector. And then on top of that, we add a gold layer, which then is patterned into the shape of a spider web, which will actually sense the radiation or absorb the radiation. And so the photons, which have this signal imprinted on them, will come through the optics of our experiment and then fall onto these spider web structures. And those spider web structures absorb the radiation, and that radiation will then cause the sensor to heat up or cool down depending on how much radiation there is. And those temperature readings will then correspond to amounts of polarizations in different parts of the sky. And as we measure those different polarization levels in the different parts of the sky, we're actually measuring this faint pattern that we originally sought out to measure. This signal would actually be the oldest signal that scientists have ever measured. And through measurement of this signal, we can actually measure the energy scales at which the universe was created. And this is one huge step towards achieving the holy grail of physics, a grand unified theory, as we will actually have an experimental verification of just how much energy the universe had when it came into existence.